In today's video, we're going to be looking at the best exercise regime for a French Bulldog. Welcome back to the French Bulldog channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the French Bulldog and then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise the perfect French Bulldog. So if you're a lifelong French Bulldog lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new puppy, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future French Bulldog video. So then let's get into today's video where we'll be looking at the exercise levels of the French Bulldog and the best way to keep them fit and healthy. As much as people may think that Frenchies are the perfect lazy day companion, they're actually very lively little dogs. The best way to satisfy their burst of energy is by taking them on multiple short walks a day. You'll want them to get them out for at least an hour of exercise in total every day. Whilst they're very young, keep their walks short, maybe just 20 minutes of walk a day for the first few weeks. This is to protect their growing joints from the shock absorption of walking across hard ground. Another concern about puppies and exercise is that even in the house, try to limit their jumping on and off things from a height. For example, encouraging them to jump up and down from the sofa significantly heightens their chance of creating hairline fractures, or worse, in their joints. Now, just because you should limit the time your puppy charges about doesn't mean they should have to be bored at home. Socialization is a great way to exercise your puppy mentally without risking them risking injury. Take them out to dog-friendly coffee shops, teach them manners in a public area, let people come to visit your puppy, and again, teach them suitable manners, even at home. Once they've matured, you can start to take them on longer walks. Keep it in mind, although they are lively, they are still a small breed. Walks through the park or a nature reserve, anywhere with interesting scents or smells in a, is a brilliant way for dogs to enjoy their daily exercise. Whilst the Frenchie isn't a scent hound, they still enjoy a snuffle about. As a companion dog, a French Bulldog is happy to spend most of their time with you, so don't feel guilty if you're unable to take them to the park every day. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. They do just enjoy simple walks. Just take care not to make it a daily occurrence. They still need some levels of mental exercise too. French Bulldogs are mischievous by nature and they can be made even worse by boredom. If you find your Frenchie stealing things around the house, being stubborn or simply ignoring your commands, you may want to reevaluate their mental training. Upping their mental exercise with puzzle toys or just teaching them simple tricks will be enough to satisfy a French Bulldog. They aren't stupid dogs, but they also aren't working dogs. So just 10 to 15 minutes of brain training every day can be enough to give them a positive outlet for some of that energy that they may have bottled up. If you're an avid follower of the French Bulldog channel here at Fenrir, you'll already have some understanding of caring for a brachycephalic breed. So it's so important to not overexercise Frenchies in hot weather due to their restricted breathing. They're unable to cool themselves down efficiently. If possible, take them first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening when the weather reaches the mid to high 20s. If it isn't a possibility, it is best not to walk them all together. This can lead to them suffering from heat stroke. Instead, if it's too hot for a walk, keep them busy and occupied in the house with puzzles or teach them tricks. To recap today's videos, Frenchies are deceptively energetic little dogs, needing at least one hour of exercise a day, over two to three short walks a day. As a puppy, it's best to try and keep them from being too rambunctious to protect their growing joints. Once they've matured, you'll still have a good walking companion that will enjoy simple walks through the park with you. Just keep in mind that whilst they aren't of a working intelligence, they can be mischievous. So a moderate level of mental exercise is, is the key to keeping them and you happy. However, keeping an eye on the weather during the warmer months Frenchies are not made to cope with very well in hot weather. 
Don't let them overexert themselves either. There are two very important things to remember about owning and caring for a French Bulldog. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below, and don't forget, if you're new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated French Bulldog videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the French Bulldog channel. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts that I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there.